Hey everyone, this is Scott Widenkivowitz. Today I want to show you something that the On One Software Perfect Photo Suite can do that you may not have realized. So check this out. I have this photo that someone sent me. It's actually a an old photo of a, a friend's father and as you can see it's a little beat up. So I'm going to show you how you can do some, some quick restoration right inside of the On One Software Perfect Photo Suite. So check this out. I'm going to drag it inside to open it in perfect layers. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Perfect Portrait. From inside Perfect Portrait it's going to detect the um, father's face and obviously the father is um, young at this point in time and, uh, and it's going to find the face, find the eyes, find the mouth. Now obviously we don't care about it fixing skin tone um, and things like that but we do want it to sort of smooth out those difficult lines because in Photoshop this could get a little difficult um, trying to retouch all these. So check this out. First thing to do is fine tune it. So match up the eyes because although we're not trying to uh, you know make it perfect and and clean up the eyes so much and clean up the lips and the colors and stuff we do want it to know where where the skin is and where the skin is not so it knows where it has to do smoothing effects. Okay, so I'm almost done. I'm just matching up the lips. And again, doesn't have to be perfect, but close enough. Okay, now, first thing, I'm going to turn off color correction. We don't need that. Now, what I want to do is actually smooth out and get rid of all the blemishes and the shine and the shadows, fix the shadows. Add some texture, bring up, bring back some of the texture from the paper, and even it out. Now, as you can see, it's starting to get rid of the lines here. Let's see if we can keep going. See how smooth that's getting? Get rid of blemishes. So really, what it's thinking it's doing, it's thinking it's getting rid of bad skin color, but it's actually fixing up a little bit, fixing up the paper. So as you can see, before and after. It's smoothing it out. And now, of course, I'm going to bring back some of the uh, texture from the paper because we want it to look, still looks, you know, fairly real. So that will be a lot easier to work with in Photoshop. Okay, so now if I want to, I can actually work on the eyes a little bit as well. Bring back some detail in the eyes. You can whiten them. It's a little creepy, so let's bring it back down. And then, again, before and after. And let's hide the controls from that so you can see actually going to take back the eyes a little bit because it's a little bit too too much. Now what you could do is if you go to the here to the retouch brush and now we go and we can retouch the skin and get rid of some of those extra lines. See what it's doing? And it's not hurting the eyes, it's not going to hurt the lips because we already marked off where they are. So I'm just going to go through this and, and just sort of hit some areas where I think needs a little bit of retouching. And now what we can do is actually, you know, bring back some of that, um, the originality from the photo because we don't need it to be perfectly smooth. We just want no damages. So here, before and after, not bad for a couple of seconds inside of On One Software Perfect Photo Suite. And now from here, we could take it a little bit further. So now I can hit apply. And if I really wanted to, I could bring this into Photoshop and use, um, you know, the content aware healing, the spot healing, that kind of fun stuff and get rid of these lines. And I can bring it into perfect uh, black and white and bring back the original black and white tone of the photo um, from this scan version. In the article, I'm going to show you before and after, and you can see what I've done starting with uh, perfect layers and finishing it up in Photoshop and then bringing it back to perfect black and white to add my black and white toning that I want. Thanks for watching.